y'all welcome back to my channel so we're just gonna jump right in um so we just got back from basically a month-long trip i don't i don't want to necessarily call it a vacation we were out of town due to a family emergency it did end up being a really awesome trip and i'm so glad that we got to take it anywho after finally having our third christmas um we came back to washington with so much stuff and so I decided that I needed to probably do a deep clean on the house. My house is a wreck um, with the amount of stuff we came back. We just have to get rid of so much. So I decided to start with the kids' room. They got tons of stuff for Christmas, and it just made sense to really get in their room, go through everything, and get rid of almost all of their toys, honestly, because, again, they have so much stuff, and I'll probably um, show me putting all that stuff away in a different video. But yeah, so here I just came in and just kind of tried to make sense of the mess. It was a little difficult. There was a lot to do. As you can see, it is trashed. So yeah, here we are. <laughs> So I know from the looks of it, it looks like there is no method to my madness. And trust me, there is. When I clean, I like to um, get everything into piles and kind of separate, you know, by like, okay, for instance, with the girls room, I did like, I have a pile that is trash. I had a pile that is donations. I had a pile that is um, like stuffed animals because they have a ton of stuffed animals. So I like to make piles I know that sounds crazy but it just makes sense to me and if I know what pile something goes in it just is easier to kind of determine where I want to put it when in you know when things are all said and done I had to come on here real quick because do y'all see the trash like am I the only parent who when they clean their kids room or anything that has to do with their kids they just find obscene amounts of trash um, like comment at the bottom and let me know because I can't be the only one it's so frustrating. So I got these storage containers from Walmart and at first when I bought them we were using them as like a little coffee table sort of because it has on one side it's the cushion where you can sit on it and then the other side if you turn it over it's like a table top. So um, I decided that I didn't want a coffee table at all just because we do homeschool and we homeschool in the living room. So when we don't have a coffee table, there's just more room and it makes for a good space to do school in the living room. So I put the containers in the girls' rooms and now we use them as storage for like their towels, their extra sheets and bedding and stuff like that. Um, but that's something that I have to monitor and keep track of because if not, it'll end up filled with like extra paper that they draw on. It'll be like just random stuff. So. I highly recommend having like storage cubes and stuff for the kids, but definitely keep an eye on it or it will probably become a trash bin.
So I finally made my way to the closet and the clo this is honestly what you guys are seeing. This is the best their closets ever looked because it normally, I mean, there's just usually stuff hanging everywhere, hangers out of place, shirts half hanging off of hangers. It's ridiculous. So um, we took the doors off the closet just to make it easier for the kids to see, you know, like kind of what options of clothing that they have. And it just is easier because their closet's so small, it's hard, it was hard to get into it because we had like sliding uh, closet doors, not the ones that open outwards. So um, it just made sense. But anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm going through their stuff right now and I'm putting stuff away that was like for the summer. I do have some short sleeve um, options available for them because it's easy to use um, whenever we're layering clothes, it just makes sense. Um, and I'm also going through and getting out all of their clothes that are too small, stuff that they just don't wear, whether it fits or not, and then shoes that are too small, because these kids have way too many shoes and it was just past due time to get rid of stuff and donate it, you know, so it could go to somebody who's gonna give it some more love, so. That was a task. I usually use um, like vacuum sealed bags, but I don't have any more because I've put away all of me and my husband's stuff. So I just decided to use trash bags this time and you can easily stick the vacuum hose in the trash bag and it'll like suck it closed just like a vacuum bag. And it's cheaper than going and buying a whole new pack of vacuum bags. Pro tip for you. So here I am looking very perplexed and lost, <laughs> just trying to figure out how I can organize their closet to utilize the small amount of space that's you know available to them. We live in a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment and I have three kids. So space is not available really. Like we literally use every inch of space that we have and we have to I have to come up with very creative ways to you know put things where they belong so that they'll stay so that it's functional
So here I am back in the middle of the floor, finally sorting through my piles of donations and trash. I went through their, when I was going through their closet, they had like seven backpacks, which is highly unnecessary, but it is my fault because I have a problem with buying my kids things that they don't need. So that is one of my um, 2022 goals is to not buy unnecessary crap all the time because I have a huge problem with that. But yeah, so back to the point of this video is me cleaning. Um, I'm just trying to go through all the piles that I made now and work on getting all that stuff, you know, picked up, thrown away, put away and just put in bags where it belongs. So before I could get to um, the drawers that are underneath the bottom of my kid's bed, I had to move their air conditioner out of the way. So it's winter here in Washington, and so it's time to put all of our air conditioners in the way. We, well, most houses in Washington don't have central heat and air, so we either have space heaters for the winter or a fireplace, which we have both. And then during the summer, we have to buy like window units to stay cool. But we only have about two good weeks of summer here in Washington, so it's not a big deal. 
But anyways, um, so I'm just getting all the girls' uh, stuff folded and put away in the drawers under this bed. So I have to give a good shout out to Ikea for this bed. I think we paid maybe 250 with everything. And the bottom of the bed, it, so it looks like a twin, but the bottom pulls out and there's another twin size bed. So we bought this because it just saves space for the girls because like I said, their room's super small and it allows them to have enough space to sit and play and when their friends come over, they can all play in their room and have a good time. And I also love that it has the drawers and there's quite a bit of space in the drawers too. So I pretty much can fit all of their um, clothes that have to be folded in both of those drawers. If you've stayed this long into my deep cleaning video thank you so much I really appreciate it um, but here I am vacuuming you're probably wondering why I'm vacuuming and the floor isn't completely clean but whenever I move things around I always like to um, pull out anything that was there and I vacuum in that space before I put something else there or put that item back it just makes sense that way I can make sure that the whole floor is vacuumed and ready to go and that there's you know not junk left under in that space
so now I'm finally on my last leg of cleaning and I'm you know fi finishing up organizing the closet um, so I decided to separate my daughter's clothes uh, so one is going to be on the right side and the other stuff is going to be on the left side in the top of the closet I put their shoes um, on each side that they'll that they wear you know like if we go out somewhere the shoes that you saw on the back of the door in the shoe hanger are stuff that they use to go outside and play in so I like to separate that and um, at the bottom of the closet both girls have their own um, I call them like tote bins they have three drawers each and I put their winter stuff in it obviously whenever it's uh, spring and summer like in the warmer months I'll take that stuff out put it away and then I'll put stuff in there that goes with summer clothes summer accessories um, and then I also have the remainder of their toys that I kept in the middle container of their closet and that stuff will stay there. That's where everything belongs. So they better follow the directions because I'm not doing it again. Just kidding, I probably will. But um, so in another video, if you guys want, I can do kind of like a tour of how I organize the girl's stuff and even organize different things around the house. But just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that.
the finished result. Um, I definitely love how everything came out. The only thing that I do want to do is clean the carpets and we'll be all set. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button and just stay tuned for more. See y'all later.